My name is Mark Eisenbarth. Um, I actually run the research team at Arbor Networks. Um, our team is called ACERT. Um, we are responsible for mostly doing malware analysis, um, doing research, and basically feeding the intelligence to the Arbor products. Yes, um, so um, we actually leverage um, Atlas, which is our system for monitoring most of the uh, internet around the world. Um, our, our sensorium is basically, um, we leverage data that we get from uh, regional ISPs in Latin America. And from this sort of platform, we've you know, noticed a rise in two specific um, type of attacks. Um, the first, uh, banking attacks, which are targeting um, banks here um, via things like phishing and other um, various sorts of um, attack vectors. And also we've, um, in the last few months, seen some very large network attacks um, leveraging the uh, NTP protocol, which um, have uh, actually had very large impact on the region as well. Um, from, from Arbor's point of view, we, we find it uh, very critical. Um, we actually have a, a legacy of supporting um, and providing products to the Internet's um, ISP um, community. And um, one of the ways that we have to uh, mitigate um, these sort of attacks is to uh, leverage an on-premise solution that the um, customers, like whether they be enterprises or um, you know, a state and local governments, can actually communicate up to the ISP to relieve some of these attacks. And so um, we actually have built foundational technology on this sort of collaboration. Um, Furthermore, for um, folks that are not necessarily Arbor customers, um, we actually provide a lot of information. We work with um, about 100 national organizations around the globe that we provide information to um, in order to be able to stop incidents. So honestly, um, you know, from our point of view, cleaning up these uh, incidents is the most important thing. And uh, whether you're an Arbor customer or not, we try to make that happen. So we see our role as being very critical in this, um, this ecosystem to get this stuff cleaned up. Um, before it impacts our networks further. Yes, um, you know, I think we see most of the challenges we see in this area um, are, are really sort of financial based. I mean, you know, um, a lot of companies, you know, just r really don't have the resources to have an effective security posture. Um, about 10 you know, years ago, we, we saw a trend where a lot of folks were buying security equipment. Um, but really didn't have the resources to hire people to actually run their security departments. And I think um, a lot of, there's a good awareness now that you have to have both people and technology to solve some of these problems. So from our perspective, we see you know, um, resources um, being a big problem. And uh, um, following on the second question, uh, we think you know, cooperation among state and regional and governments also contributing to this as well. So I would say the two together. Yes, this is an interesting question. Um, I mean, obviously, you, we have seen in the U.S., um, you know, this you know, very topic being uh, called into question, you know, obviously with the NSA and this government spying programs. Um, in Latin America, I think, um, you know, there's, there's, um, there's you know, interest in improving individual rights through um, similar sorts of uh, measures, uh, both in Brazil and uh, and Mexico, and um, you know, I think this is a, a very difficult question to answer. I don't think there's really a, a right answer here, but um, you know, from our perspective, um, you know, there's a lot um, that governments can do to um, protect um, these individual rights, but yet they have a huge responsibility to do so. And so, uh, you know, I think it'll be interesting to see um, as other governments um, have followed, uh, as other governments have follow, um, if will they follow the um, the uh, um, some of the lessons learned in the U.S. or, you know, will they try to uh, not fall into the same pitfalls? So I think it'll be a very interesting thing to watch in the next, you know, six months to a year. Thank you.